Hi, I'm Amanda Morrell, Personal Finance Editor with Interest.co.nz, and this is another one of our Double Shot interviews. So I'm joined today by Liz Taylor, the Chief Customer Officer with Tax Management New Zealand. Welcome, Liz. Thank you. So Liz is here to talk to us an important date coming up on the calendar, which is April 7th. It sounds like a scary day, terminal day. This is <laughs> the yes. final day for paying the dreaded tax, man. That's right. So now, Liz, you work with an organization that is a tax intermediary, which is a new term to me. So can you explain for the benefit of others who don't know what a tax intermediary is, is what is it you do exactly? Right, uh, thanks Amanda. Um, the tax intermediaries came into being in 2003. There was uh, legislation uh, put through by the Inland Revenue, so we work under quite stringent uh, legislation uh, uh, devised by, by them. And what we do is in fact we reduce the IRD interest exposure for companies. Okay. So for example, you get the, the dreaded letter from the, the accountant saying you've got terminal tax to pay on the seventh of April. Right. And if there is a component in that which is uh, IRD interest or sometimes known as use of money interest, then we can reduce that. Right. And uh, the main way of doing that is by bringing parties who have mm -hmm. overpaid their tax okay. and people who have underpaid their tax and reducing the margins. You know, you've got the, the IRD rates and uh, you've got our rates so you're, you're paying less or you're receiving more. Okay, so that's interesting. Who doesn't want to reduce your tax by it? <laughs> exactly. Me. So how does a tax pooling arrangement work exactly? Who are the overpayers and who are the underpayers and how does it benefit the party sure. who needs it most? Sure. Overpayers are the larger payers who are very uh, hesitant to pay the 9%, which is the IRD underpayment rate, often because their funding rates are you know, between 3 and 5%, depending who they are. Okay. So they don't want to go to their CFO or board of directors and say, oops, made a mistake, got to pay 9 So they, um, they overpay. And, and sometimes quite uh, substantially. I mean, it's, it is crystal ball gazing what you pay for prof tax in many cases. And what we do is, uh, because their funds are in the tax pool, we can then bring to the party people who have underpaid okay. through no fault of their own or, or whatever their circumstances were, mm -hmm. and we can match these two parties together by and in doing so we reduce the margins and the exposure for each we increase it for the seller and we yeah. reduce it for the payer okay so what kind of rates are we talking about why would it be any more beneficial to come through a tax intermediary than say uh, borrowing the money sure else? sure the rates at the moment as i said before the the ird would charge you uh, close to 9% right now, mm -hmm. we can save 25% off of that, so around the 6.5%, 7%, uh, which is, it's all relative as to, to how much you'll save because mm -hmm. it depends on how much you're needing to buy right. and how old that tax is. Okay. The benefit for the seller is currently if you've overpaid, the IRD will give you just over 2%, mm -hmm. and by Coming into the, the pool, you could achieve up to 2.5% um, you know, more mm -hmm. uh, interest, so it's, it's beneficial on both sides. So just how big a pool of money are we talking about that's available for lending, or does um, it just depend on the year? Right? It's very substantial, and yes, you're spot on. It is depending on the year and the circumstances. Uh, some, when we first started back in 2003, the overpayments were a lot more. You know, large companies were putting in buffers of you know, upwards of 10%. So that was uh, very useful for purchases. These days with the GFC, uh, people are pulling back a little bit more on that buffer. And uh, so it's, uh, it, it swings around about. It is very much, much exposed to the, the economy at the time. Okay, so typically speaking, who is buying tax? Are we talking small businesses or, you know, the average Joe who's just kind of falling into rears with the tax? or It's all over the show. Uh, but, yeah, primarily, the, the big bubble in the middle would be the small to medium business. You mm -hmm. do get the, the higher ones, and uh, sometimes it's just an extraordinary year for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. uh, they weren't expecting, or, or you can get the, the sole trader 
but yeah, the, the, the majority are medium to small business. And are there any risks for you as an intermediary if somebody, if they don't pay you back, or does the IRD take that risk on at the end of the day? The, the, there is no risk with the tax purchase, because basically they come to us, they, they've got their uh, $10,000, let's say, uh, terminal tax to pay, there's interest involved, so really what they ought to have done was, was buy it back at the prov dates. If they don't pay when they've, they've put a purchase through, it just doesn't happen. And with another one of our, our products, again, it, it, it's a debt between the client mm -hmm. and the inland revenue. We are simply an intermediary to reduce that exposure. Okay. So um, how does a tax finance arrangement differ from this uh tax purchasing um, offer? Sure. It's yeah. quite a, quite an interesting uh, product, which is near to my heart because I, I work very closely with it. And what it is, is the client borrows the funds, and it's solely for provisional tax, mm -hmm. I must, must point out. And what happens is the tax they need to pay is paid into the, the tax pool, which is an IRD account. And it they, the client decides how long they want to defer that for, mm -hmm. up to 12 months is, is our current uh, position. And what that does is it means they've got some time, some breathing space. I mean, one client I have in particular comes to mind is, is just a soldier, he's a plumber, a really nice guy, and, but he's had debtors issues. And man, have I heard that story a lot this year, mm. well, last year, mm. or so early this year. Um, and he just needed that time. So he, he, we paid the money for him into the tax pool. And over the next three months, he pushed his debtors as much as he could, got the funds, paid it off, mm. and the money was deposited into his IRD account. So it's, it's brilliant for him. He was just absolutely wrapped. And it's, it's very, very useful for giving them headspace in, in this cash flow market. Yeah, because you hear in this economy, there's a lot of um, small businesses that are stretched and mm. they're looking to get money back. And they're kind of, you call it the debt domino. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I can't pay him, he can't pay mm. you. And mm. it's just, it just goes on and on. Mm. So just being able to give people some headspace mm. to, uh, to, to push a bit more or give a bit more time. It's particularly good too with contractors because you know their income is so sporadic that they'll know when a certain portion of that is going to be paid mm. and they can then um, target their finance, their, their tax payment for that point. Mm. Uh, and seasonal businesses too, it's huge, huge with them because yeah. you know if they're, if they're a winter company, right. um, you know, maybe based in Aakuni, they all their money comes in, you know, June through, you know, in the winter time. Mm. Uh, whereas they've got a tax payment sometimes on the 15th of January, the worst date to pay tax. Yeah. And so just having this ability to defer it through to when the cash is going to be is, right. is just great. And again, the, the rates that they'd be paying on this are, are what, half or... Oh, they're, they're, depending where they're getting their, their funds from. I mean, if they're going to be using their mortgage then they would probably be less. Our rates at the moment for finance vary from about 6% through to about 8.5% and, mm. and that depends oh. on the amount they're wanting to finance mm -hmm. and the term that they want right. to select. Yeah. Um, what would be a good one would be if they're wanting to finance 10000 mm. for three months mm. they're looking at a payment of around $220. Right. So, and that would defer the payment. Yeah. We would make that 10,000 payment for them. Right, and you compare that to the cost of borrowing from another means. Uh, well, that's right. Me, for example. Yeah, I mean, if they have to take out a business loan. Mm. We're talking, you know, double figures, easy. Mm. And the, the other really good thing about the finance is it's, there's no, no credit approvals mm -hmm. needed. Mm -hmm. No, uh, it's all pre, pre, mm. pre-approved. Mm. Uh, and the reason for that is that the, the lenders mm. who are putting the money down uh, for them, their debt is with the IRD because the money is paid into the IRD. Right. And so, if the, the client doesn't meet the yeah. uh, the payment at the end, the lender just uh, receives their funds back from the IRD, right. and it's again between the client and the IRD just reverts back to that. Okay, excellent, Liz Taylor. Thank you very much for explaining those for me. And one, I guess, one last question: Does this tax work for other kind of taxes like GST, for example, or? 
only under limited circumstances right. for the for the purchase and never for the finance. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's pretty. <laughs> Pretty definitive Pretty on that Pretty definitive point, right? on that okay, one. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Liz Taylor is CCO with um, New Zealand Tax Management. I'm Amanda Morrell, Personal Finance Editor with interest.co.nz. And this has been another one of our double-shot interviews.